All right, guys, so I am here at NAB 2024, and I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite products that I've seen here in the showroom floor. All right, guys, so I'm here at the DJI booth, and hands down, my favorite thing out of NAB 2024, which I've actually been testing out with Cam, is their new LiDAR Pro system. This thing is like, honestly, it's gotta be my favorite thing probably for the rest of the year. I've been wanting something like this forever. So they have this new LiDAR system unit that works incredibly well. What it does is it allows you to have manual focus lenses like the one we're using right now. This is a Cook 32 millimeter lens. It's all manual, there's no autofocus, but now with this new system, we're able to add autofocus. And the way it works is actually very scary. So we have this display unit right here, and it looks just very similar to like your traditional mirrorless camera where you can have autofocus tracking. So right now, you can see it's actually tracking her. And if I have her come over here, like automatically, I don't even have to do anything, it tracks it. Like she is in focus, and what's really neat, it has this AMFF system that I can actually take over at any time. So if I want to focus back there to the gentleman back there, I can actually just do this and I can take over. Or if I wanted to focus back on her, I can actually just let go and it'll focus back on her. So this allows me to take over. As a matter of fact, if she was to walk back right now and I don't want it to focus on her anymore, again, I could just hold this down. Go ahead. And now it's blurry. Look, out of focus. Now if I, again, Go like this, it goes back and focuses her. It, this thing is incredible, it's, it's tracking, it does so much stuff, but really the, the way like the focus is so snappy, like just come out here really fast, fast as you can, like look at this, auto focus on, oh my gosh, this thing is, yeah. For the price point, I, to get auto focus on manual lenses, like amazing. So one of the thing about the AMFF system is that you actually feel some resistance, which is really cool because as I move this, I can feel like it's moving, the dial's actually moving, but if I hold it, it's like I'm fighting it. Not in a bad way though. And then if I let go, it goes back to that autofocus mode and it continues to track. Again, this thing is just amazing. I love the small form factor. I mean, this is basically a, the small kit right here. You've got the handle, which obviously works really well to dial in the focus, the LiDAR system, and then the follow focus unit. So we are here at the Black Magic booth because this is where all the rave is. This is the 6K full frame Pixis camera. And you can see it here it kind of built out a bit, but this thing is tiny. I mean, this reminds me a lot of the Komodo. Now we've been asking Black Magic for the longest time because I've told people this, if you're really serious about cinematography and you want to learn like the cinema style, Black Magic is a really great way to start, but they've always had these weird cameras where they're shaped like photo cameras, but they're really meant for video. And we've been telling Black Magic, give us a box style camera. They finally delivered, and it's a very interesting design, I gotta say. You've got a display here on the side. I wish there would have been like a tilt-out display, and I did ask like why they went with this design. They said that making a tilt-out display would have been much thicker, which I don't think a lot of people would have been disappointed with that, but that's fine. Most people are gonna probably mount a monitor or even like an EVF to this. Again, Blackmagic is really well known, and I have to agree for their menu system. Very easy. Like again, if you wanna learn cinematography, if you wanna learn stuff like their menu system is not something where you're gonna be like, how do you do this? It's like very methodically thought out. It uses a BP style battery, and these come in different sizes. So this is the BP U30, I believe. And of course, there's larger ones. And as always, you can rig this up with a V-mount. You've got SDI, uh, which is great. No HDMI, which I'm not upset about. USB-C. The overall design, I gotta say, is, is great. Again, the menu system, it comes in three different mounts. So you can buy it in an EF mount, PL mount, and also L mount. I will be getting early access to one very soon. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. All right guys, so I'm here at the Condor Blue booth and this is a product that I've been super pumped about because I've actually been testing it out for some time and I knew it was coming and it's their new battery plate. This thing is awesome. So let me show you some of the cool features about it. It's got a reversible D-Tap hub. So what this means is that no matter what direction your D-Tap is, so for example, if I wanna plug it in this way, but it doesn't really work that well, I can also change this and plug it this way for better cable management. You've got USB-C for PD power. These power modules are gonna be accessories that you're gonna be able to attach on the top. And lastly, we have this little kill switch right here. So if I wanna turn the battery plate off, meaning that all of the accessories are not gonna drain the battery, I'm able to do that. This thing is awesome and it should be available today. All right guys, so we are now here at the Aperture Amaran booth and we're checking out 
They're light mat. The thing is really cool, very durable. They wanted to make something that was gonna last, especially for people that are renting these out. So check this out. This comes in different sizes, one by two, one by four, four by four, and also a 20 by 20, which is incredible. I also like this new inflatable softbox. It comes with a pump, and when you fill this up, it takes about a minute, and it can also deflate in about a minute. There's also different modifiers that you can purchase. Really, really neat. But the cool thing about it is that you can actually plug in multiple light mats to this box right here. But anyway, this thing is really cool. I'm super pumped because you can actually mount these in different locations. For example, if you're doing a car scene and you want to put something like above and light your talent, like this is going to be really awesome to be able to use something like that. All right, one more thing. If you're tired and you want to go to bed, you can actually use this as a pillow, like no joke. <laughs> okay guys, we are here at the Atomos booth checking out the Ninja Phone. So this is a case that also has this device. Now what this allows you to do is take the HDMI signal from your camera, connect it to this device, and now you can use it on your phone by USB-C for monitoring. This works with the iPhone, the new iPhone Pros with USB-C, and you've got all your monitoring tools. I really love how simple the user interface is. So you've got false color, uh, peaking, zebras, I mean, you've got a whole bunch of stuff, de-squeeze, and if I hold this down, you can see it changes like the anamorphic mode. So if I want a 1.5 times squeeze, I can do that. Now this also supports camera to cloud, so you can do all of that. And of course, the user interface is what I really like. Now they did tell me that they're gonna bring a lot of the features that you see on the Ninja 5 onto this. So right now, it is still a little bit limited. You can still only record right now in 1080p. I did talk to them and 4K recording should be coming out, hopefully. Um, it is something that they're talking about. So yeah, more features are coming soon, but this looks very promising. So I'm at the iFootage booth, and you guys know how much I love their crab system, but check this out. This is something new at NAB 2024, is their new monopod. Now this is a one hand system, so basically you push this button and you can retract it or make it taller with one hand. Now what's also cool is you can also step right here and you can move it so it's not gonna go anywhere. And if you lock it into place, it stays. Again, they have their quick release system. So if you want to take the ball head out, put it here, or if you want to do like a hi-hat, you can also bring this here, bring a hi-hat, check this out, boom. Now I have a hi-hat. How awesome is that? Anyway guys, this thing is cool. I think it's a Kickstarter. So I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out and be part of that Kickstarter. All right guys, so what was your favorite piece of gear at NAB 2024? For me, hands down, DJI Focus Pro. That thing is amazing. It works extremely well. And the fact that I can use my cinema lenses and get out of focus is just awesome. So leave me a comment down below. Also, if you wanna see more stuff, make sure you follow me on Instagram. There's a lot of stories and reels. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Adios.